Aggressiveness can be one of the most frustrating behaviors to deal with. Just imagine trying to settle a misunderstanding with someone when suddenly they throw a punch at you. Or you could be at the gym minding your own business when some huge guy aggressively hits on you, making you feel super uncomfortable. We've all dealt with an aggressive person at one time or another, but humans aren't the only species who exhibit this behavior. You can even try to tame some as a pet, and this of course applies to fish. Did you know that some of the most aggressive fish can actually make great pets? It's true! You can even try to tame them and make them a part of your home aquarium. And the coolest part? We've got a list of the 15 best aggressive freshwater fish that are perfect for you. If you want to learn more, stick around because I'm going to share some helpful information with you. Everything you need to know about the best aggressive freshwater fish can be found right here at Aquarium Store Depot. According to psychologists, aggressive behavior can stem from someone's past experiences, trauma, or personality. This is not only true for humans, but it can also be said of our pet fish. Please note that any fish that has a tendency to attack other fish of the same species, different species, or even the fish keepers taking care of it is classified as aggressive. When it comes to fish, this behavior can be influenced by many different factors like their temperament, predatory instincts, territoriality, breeding habits, and self-defense mechanisms. However, there are certain species that are notorious for being aggressive. If you've watched any of our previous videos on this YouTube channel, you may have noticed that some fish were labeled as peaceful, semi-aggressive, or aggressive. If you're unsure whether your fish have aggressive tendencies or not, I've got you covered. Check out these references on your screen which will give you a good idea of what to look for in their behavior. Aggressive freshwater fish can make wonderful pets, but they do require additional preparation. That's why today I'll share with you some of the essential info that you should know regarding the 15 aggressive fish on our list. Let's start with our first fish called the wolf cichlid. The wolf cichlid is an excellent example of an aggressive aquarium fish. These aggressive cichlids are acutely aware of their environment and they even appear to constantly keep an eye on their owners. These ravenous eaters are piscivorous, which means that they eat other fish besides their typical food. Although there are some daring fish keepers who have kept them with tank mates of other species, it's best to keep them in a species only tank. This fish is a badass. This next fish radiates power. Meet the jaguar cichlid. A smaller cousin of the wolf cichlid I mentioned earlier is the jaguar cichlid. Check out the amazing markings on these stunning fish. They're spotted just like their big cat namesakes. Jaguar cichlids are naturally aggressive and have strong jaws and pointed teeth to support their behavior. These fish should be housed alone or in a tank with other strong-willed big cichlids. But before we continue, it would be awesome if you could help us reach a bigger audience by sharing this video, hitting the like button, and subscribing to our official YouTube channel. And if you want more information, you can check out our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com. Getting back on track, this third fish on our list has a spooky name. Let's give it up for the Red Devil Cichlid. The name Red Devil is owned by this cichlid. It has a fierce orange hue and an intimidating demeanor. The larger the aquarium, the better since these aggressive cichlids can be just as cruel to other tank mates of the same species as they are to other species. Be ready for the decorations to move around since Red Devil cichlids like to rearrange their aquariums. If you like silver colored fish, the silver arowana is for you. Very few aquarists have the space to keep the silver arowana because it's a truly gigantic fish. These beauties can reach lengths of 3 feet and they can jump relatively high, which means they require a sizable tank. You should avoid keeping them in tanks with smaller fish because they are carnivores with large jaws. Fifth on the list is the Texas Cichlid. Texas Cichlids have enormous personalities and appetites to match the saying that everything is bigger in Texas. These excellent fish are not picky eaters and a fantastic choice for aquarists wishing to start keeping aggressive species. It's the only cichlid species indigenous to the United States. 
Both genders exhibit beautiful black and iridescent blue speckles on their bodies, but the males tend to be bigger and more aggressive than the females. Ladies and gents, the Academy Award for the sixth incredible aggressive fish goes to the Oscar fish. Oscar fish make excellent companions for seasoned Aquarius, and with proper care, they can live up to 20 years. These fish love to beg for food and have significant personalities. These South American cichlids are known to be mean and can readily consume smaller tank mates. There are a few distinct species of Oscar fish, and their body colors range from white, black, red, and even green. There are also long-finned Oscar varieties. The seventh fish on our list can knock you out. Meet Jack Dempsey. The Jack Dempsey cichlid is named after the well-known American boxer Jack Dempsey also nicknamed Kid Blackie or the Manasa Mahler. Although these fish can live up to their name, they also can be shy and timid when they are first introduced. They're not too aggressive as a single specimen in the community tank, but careful planning is definitely required. Once mature, these cichlids can become very combative with one another when kept in groups. Our eighth fish is the red-tailed catfish. The red-tailed catfish is an absolutely fantastic fish, but tragically, the majority of them are never placed in the proper habitat. The issue is that these fish can grow to enormous sizes and few aquarium keepers have the room or resources for a large enough aquarium. Red-tailed catfish may grow to over 80 pounds and about four and a half feet in length. They're not too hostile against other species, but because of their size and large jaws, Smaller tank mates may quickly vanish. Are you a fan of the Twilight franchise? If yes, you'll love how this next fish could make your blood run cold. This creature is fit to be the long lost pet of Dracula. Meet the vampire fish. The vampire fish, sometimes called the vampire tetra, leaves a horror film like ring. Since these sleek, silvery predators prefer moving water, a tank with effective filtration is advised. When young, they are shoaling fish, but as they get older, they become more solitary. A tight lid is necessary since these fish also leap. Although vampire fish have enormous teeth that feed on surprisingly large prey, they aren't necessarily aggressive towards larger fish. Due to this, selecting tank mates can be challenging. The tenth aggressive fish on the list is the black wolf. Choosing a meaner fish than the black wolf fish is pretty challenging. These predators are outright murderers. Black wolf fish have enormous mouths and strong jaws that are loaded with teeth. They often spend the day resting at the bottom of the tank since they are nocturnal predators. They feature an extended, conspicuous dorsal fin that fans out dramatically when it's disturbed, and a blunt spherical skull that is visible when viewed from above. Another fish you should know about is the Severums. Severums are particularly aggressive once it is breeding season. Since lone fish can develop into pretty aggressive adults, keeping a small group of them can lessen their aggression. Severums come in an incredible range of colors. When it comes to eating, these South American cichlids are not picky and will gladly destroy aquarium plants. If they get along and appreciate the same water conditions, you may keep different species of fish in the same tank. Going 12th on the list is the freshwater stingray. Stingrays are usually associated with the ocean, but there are some fantastic freshwater varieties that can thrive in the correct aquarium environment. The ambush predators, known as stingrays, are cartilaginous fish and they have venomous spines on their tails. Although they are generally relatively calm creatures, a sting is always possible. The depth of the tank is less critical for freshwater stingrays, instead they require lots of floor area. Another terror inside a freshwater tank is the green terror cichlid. The South American cichlids, known as green terrors, have magnificent turquoise green bodies and black and red fins. The males are substantially more extensive and far more aggressive than the females, especially regarding mating. One of these fish can be kept alone in a sizable tank and introducing them to communal aquariums may be challenging. When breeding season arrives, a pair of these fish will attack and kill any other fish. If you like an entertaining fish, you should try the Mbu pufferfish in your freshwater tank. The enormous African species, also known as the giant puffer, is a magnificent pet for the committed fish keeper. 
This fish may be what you're looking for if you want a sizable aquatic companion with a distinctive personality. Although these puffer fish are giant and have potent teeth, they are not always aggressive. Keeping them alone or in a large aquarium with species that move quickly is ideal. And lastly, we have the pig nose puffer fish. The pig nose, or arrowhead puffer, is a fascinating and distinctive freshwater aquarium fish. These puffers spend their time on the bottom blending in with their incredible camouflage because they are serious ambush predators. Small fish will be sucked up before even realizing what hit them if they happen to swim by. They aren't very active, but they are fantastic for aquarists searching for that unique and aggressive species. While some fish species can be kept as pets, it's important to note that there are certain species that should be avoided. I'll discuss some of them, beginning with piranhas. Although piranhas can be kept in a home aquarium, they are not at all ideal choice for fish keepers. While some fish keepers have been successful, most are disappointed. Keeping piranhas requires a high level of commitment due to their messy feeding habits and their tendency to attack other fish. Therefore, only experienced and dedicated fish keepers should consider keeping these bad boys. Another fish you should avoid is the Goliath tigerfish. The Goliath tigerfish is a monster that is best left in the wild, although some aquarists do retain them. Large rivers in Africa are home to these fearsome and violent carnivores which locals and animals respect. The Goliath tigerfish may grow as long as 6 feet and up to 100 pounds. Third is the alligator gar. Although the alligator gar is remarkable, it has no business in a home aquarium. Adults of these typically grow to impressively large sizes of 6 or 7 feet. They're frequently sold as young animals and new owners learn too late how huge these creatures can get. And last on the list of aggressive fish to avoid is the Perun shark. It's a type of catfish native to Southeast Asia and can grow to be 10 feet long. They're also very active fish that require a lot of swimming space. These fish may get frightened and often slam into the tank walls, hurting themselves and causing damage. And that's a wrap for our video today, fish keepers. You now have an idea as to what aggressive fish we could keep as pets in a freshwater tank. It is vital to remember that gaining more experience and knowledge in this fish keeping hobby is very beneficial for your growth and success in keeping other well-known fish. Remember to seek more information before keeping them for the long term. If you want to learn more of how to take care of these incredible fish, you can visit our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com. There you will find more info on proper care techniques and tank setup. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.